The movie begins with a narration that tells us how necromancers waged war against all living beings. With no other choice, the humans had to join forces with the dragons and they defeated the necromancers. The dragons formed a sacred bond with very few humans with pure heart, making them dragon keepers. The emperor grew jealous of the dragon powers and decided to hunt them down and kill those humans who are in sacred bond with the dragon. Back to the present, we see Master Lan and his men selling the blood of a dragon to a man called D.L. for 20 coins. After confirming that it's truly a dragon blood, he assures to give them 20 times more the money if they can bring a live dragon to him. But Master Lan laughs at his request because it's only the emperor himself that can afford such money. Just as Diao leaves with the dragon blood, an old man drops a crying baby at that same building of the negotiations, revealing she has a great destiny to fulfill. The cry of the baby gets Master Lan's attention, and he decided to take her into his city and make her his slave when she grows up. As soon as he arrives at his city with his men, he gives the baby to his old slave Lao Mao to raise her. Looking at the necklace in the baby's neck, Lao Mao decides to name the baby Ping. Meanwhile, Dio takes the jar of dragon blood he bought from Master Lan to his sick mother. It is said that dragon blood heals any sickness, so Dio intended to use it to cure his dying mother, but she tells him it's way too late. She tells him to live a good life and dies very sadly. Six years later, Ping is all grown up. Lao Mao wakes her up telling her that today is feeding day. Their master, Master Lan, has two dragons chained up in a pit, and today is the day he is going to feed them. Ping is disappointed that Lao Ma won't let her feed the dragons, but is instead told to feed the chickens. Just as Ping feeds the chickens, we learn she has a pet rat named Ha Ha. When Master Lan returns from traveling, he orders Lao Ma to carry the basket of food they will take to the dragon pit to feed it. Ping asks her why she let Master Lan treat her like that, and she reminds Ping that he's the master and they are just servants. Being slaves is what they are and their destinies cannot be changed. Ping watches Lao Ma fall while carrying the food for the master. Master Lan tries to beat the old woman to get back on her feet, but Ping begs him to stop, saying she will carry the food in her place. Master Lan then place the very heavy basket on Ping's head and she carries it to their destination, the dragon's pit. Master Lan throw the food inside the pit. Ping sees her pet rat inside the basket, but it's too late for her to save him as he has also been thrown inside the pit. Ping carries the basket out and just as Master Lan and his men goes out of the dragon cave, it turns out Ping is still there. She couldn't leave until she rescues Ha Ha from the pit. She takes a rope and tries to go inside the dragon pit, but falls in the process and ends up injuring herself. A dragon called Danzi approaches her, making Ping so terrified. When the dragon saw the wound on her palm, he speaks to the second dragon called Lu Yu and it does something shocking. Lu Yu brings out a kind of blue substance from her mouth and heals Ping's wound. This act of kindness alone makes Ping to realize that the dragons are not bad and thanks them for helping her. After finding her rat pet Hao Hao, Denzi helps her out of the pit. Later that night, Ping had a dream where she saw Lu Yu in a cave. Lu Yu shows Ping her egg, her unborn baby called Kai. She begs Ping to help her bring the egg to this cave and place it inside the lake there as only then will the baby be able to hatch. Ping replies she's just a servant, but the dragon tells her she's more. Ping wakes up from her sleep and she sees her necklace glowing blue. Due to the earthquake, Lao Ma is able to tell that one of the dragons has died. It turns out that it was Lu Yu who died and Master Lan orders his men to quickly get the corpse of the dragon out so he can sell it before it loses its quality. He pieces his body while Ping watches in tears. The next morning, Ping sees hundreds of soldiers entering the city with a cage from the imperial palace. Lao Ma quickly gives a jar of tea to Ping to take it to the lord from the palace called Diao, who visited the city along with the soldiers. Ping sees Master Lan been dragged out to be prosecuted as the lord of the imperial palace blamed him for the dragon death. On her way to deliver the tea, she overhears the commander telling Lord Dio that it's not going to be easy for them to forcefully put the last live dragon Denzi inside the cage. To kill the dragon will be easy enough, but to force him inside the cage is another matter entirely. The Lord still insists that the general does so, because the dragon blood has to be fresh for them to save the dying emperor. After Ping gives Lord Dio the tea, he sees her pet Ha Hao and tries to kill him, but Ping unconsciously bring out a blue power from her palm to stop the Lord from this act. Lord Dio smiles as they have just discovered the solution to capture the dragon alive. He takes Ping to the dragon pit and threatens the dragon to kill Ping if he doesn't willingly come with them to the imperial palace. He used this method because dragons are strangely attached to their dragon keepers. Yes, Ping is a dragon keeper, and the dragon won't let her die even if it means his own life. In case you don't know, dragon keepers are one of the few chosen ones who have a bond with a dragon.
The soldiers are able to put the dragon inside a cage, but Painu couldn't bear seeing this, unleashes a very powerful force with just her screams that sends Master Diao and the soldiers flinging in the air. The dragon quickly uses this opportunity to break his cage and gives Ping his egg before he is captured again. Lord Dio sees the egg in her bag and tells the men to catch her even if it means killing her. Out of desperation, he sends his poisonous insect to sting her. Just as Pain is about to die, the egg heals her. The dragon frees himself but stops when Master Dio threatens to throw both his egg and Ping off the building. But as the dragon charges at him slowly, he throws the egg and Ping from the building. The dragon chooses to save Ping, while Master Diao manages to gain possession of his egg. The dragon was unable to save his egg after the general shoots an arrow on his wings. Master Diao smiles as he plans to use the egg to become very powerful, but the general takes the egg from him upon realizing it's far more greater than catching the live dragon, as the egg is the pearl of longevity, something that is as powerful to heal the king. The dragon takes Ping far away into the forest, and when he wakes her up from unconsciousness, Ping realizes that she can now understand the dragon language. Ping wants to return back to Lao Ma, but the dragon replies that Lao Ma will be fine besides, she has a new beginning and destiny to fulfill. The dragon wants her to accompany him to Chang'an to save his egg. Ping wonders why a big dragon will need her help, but the dragon tells her he's weak and she's a dragon keeper. On their way to Chang'an, the dragon explains to her that the blue power she brings out of her body is her qi. She is a spiritual energy that exists in every living thing and binds all creatures together. Only some chosen humans are able to master it. Pain is one of those chosen ones, that's why she is able to use the qi, and the dragon tells her he is going to teach her how to control it. While the soldiers decides to camp for the night, Master Dio tries to steal the egg, but the general stops him. The dragon decide they pass through a narrow bridge, a shortcut to help them arrive at Chang'an faster. But while passing, the rope of the bridge cuts, but Pain is able to summon her qi energy again which she uses to save herself and the dragon. Pain uses her sewing skills to heal the dragon wounds. On the other hand, the general arrives at the imperial palace with the egg and gives it to the king. When the king touches it, it heals him from his sickness instantly. Lord Dio suggests to the emperor to hand over the egg to him, and he will use it to perform a ritual that will give the emperor eternal life, but the emperor rejects his request as it will only anger the gods. Dio leaves the palace in frustration as none of his plans to take the egg is working. He retreats to his cave which is filled up with insects and calls his servant, Wang Chao. He holds him on his neck asking him if what he asked him to prepare is ready. All he needs now is the dragon egg, which he will use to begin a ritual that will turn him into a god. We find out that his servant, Wang Chao, is also a dragon keeper, and Diao realizes that he is able to sense when a dragon is nearby, so he decides to use this to his advantage. Ping and the dragon finally arrives at Chang'an, but since it is heavily well guarded by soldiers, they are going to need a plan to get in. The dragon takes her beneath the water, and they arrive at a cave called Wuching, a place that holds the memories of the war that happened long time ago. He tells the story on how dragons and humans were once allies, but the humans betrayed them. At that moment, Wang Chao shows up and the dragon recognizes him as Lu Yu's dragon keeper, that dragon that died recently. He tells them he knows a way for them to get inside the imperial palace and take back the egg. Wang Chao uses his qi energy to open a secret passageway, but he tells the dragon to stay behind because he is too big and they can easily be spotted by the guards if he follows them. Wang Chao takes only Ping inside the passageway and on their way to the palace, Wang Chao teaches Ping on how to control her qi powers. Ping thanks him, but we see a regretful look in Wang Chao's eyes as he is about to betray Ping. According to their plan, the dragon shows up to distract the guards by attacking them. The thousands of guards were no match when the dragon uses his chi powers to control a pool of water to subdue them. Out of fear, the king dismisses his general into the battlefield to join the army take down the dragon. This gives Ping the advantage she needs. She appears before the king with the very little men guarding him and reveals her intentions of wanting to take back the dragon egg from him. When the king commands the few remaining guards to chase after her, thanks to what Wang Chao taught her, Pain is able to bring out her chi powers and knocks out the guards in seconds. On the other hand, the general engages in a one-on-one -on -one combat with the dragon, while the other soldiers upon his command tries their best to chain it down from the back. Ping is able to take the egg and escapes. She appears in the battleground with the dragon egg pretending to be shot by an arrow. She drops the egg in a different direction which distracted the guards, giving the dragon the chance to escape. The soldiers delivers the egg to the general only for him to realize it's fake. Ping while escaping with the real dragon egg encounters the prince who fights with her, but she defeats him and continues her run. Wang tries to stop Ping from following the direction they plan to escape because he knows it's a trap. 
Lord Diao is waiting for her at the entrance, and when Ping arrives there, Lord Diao sends his insect to kill her and takes the egg. Wang Cheo follows his master, but drops an antidote in Ping's mouth, which wakes her up after a while. The general finds Ping and threatens her to take them to where the egg is unless he will shoot her. Lord Dio begins a ritual to gain eternal life by entering inside a chamber and begins to absorb the egg powers to achieve eternal life. The general shows up and tries to stop him, but he gets attacked by Lord Dio insects. Ping uses her chi to kill the insects, but uncontrollably uses it to knock out the general. Hao Hao goes to tell the dragon that Ping is in danger, and he hurried immediately to the scene to help out. Ping tries to enter the chamber to stop the ritual, but Wang Xiao warns her that her chi will be drained away if she does so. The general tells them both to stay back, and before Wang Xiao could also warn him from the danger, he enters the chamber only for some of his chi to be taken away, turning the general into an old man. Ping suggests they can use their magic to bring the A out of the chamber without having to go in, but Wang Chao, knowing how dangerous it will be, decided to do it himself. Wang Chao is able to use his magic as a dragon keeper to bring the egg out, but all his chi gets absolved in the process and he dies. With the ritual uncompleted, Lord Diao is turned into a gigantic devilish being. He seems angry at first as his goal was to gain eternal life, but he feels this is much better as he is now strong enough to take over the entire palace. Just as he charges at pain, she decides to give the egg to the general, telling him it is the son of the last dragon and he has to protect it while she fights with Diao. The general takes the egg far away from Diao upon Ping request, but he gets confronted by zombie-like creatures. The dragon shows up at the fight to help Ping take down Diao. According to Ping plan, she combined her chi with the dragon chi and blasted it on Diao. It made Diao grow more powerful and bigger to the extent that the whole castle collapsed and killed him. The dragon saves the general and his men by using his chi to kill the zombie-like creatures. The general handed the egg back to Ping, and the dragon immediately carries her to the dragon realm. They stop at a cave where the dragon tells Ping to take the egg inside and place it on the birth pool so the egg can hatch. She does as she is instructed, and a baby dragon comes out of it. The dragon reveals to Ping that he is dying because his wound from the fight is way too deep. He tells Ping to look after his baby which he names Kai. Determined not to lose Denzi, Ping uses her powers to lift the dragon really high to the sky to a place where dragons can heal. And that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.